Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link the Reax Comp multiband compressors parameters in Reaper. Now, the Reax Comp compressor is a multiband compressor, which means we can compress different frequencies at the same time and then blend them together to create a more subtle but very polished effect. My personal preference is to put this on the two bus or the master track. So we'll go here to the Reaper plugins and let's choose it right here, the Reax compressor. And it looks like this. Now, thankfully, we can now stretch it to the size we want to work with, which is kind of nice. Now, by default, we have four bands, but we could add as many as we want or we could eliminate them. What I prefer to do is to start off with one and get my settings just right as far as my attack and my release, or even my ratio. And then I'll add more bands, but I'll have the same setting as this one. So let's add a couple more. Then I can adjust where the frequencies are to divide our frequencies. Let's put this one at about 300 hertz, and we can put this one at about three kilohertz, right about there. This is a good starting point. So now we're compressing everything from 300 all the way down, then from 300 to 3K, and then 3K all the way up, completely independently. But that's part of the problem. If I want to adjust my threshold on band two, it's not going to readjust these two as well. And if you want that behavior, it's a good idea to link them, which is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So even though they're working on different frequencies, we can adjust each one together keeping our thresholds, our attacks, our release, our gain, and our ratio in sync with each other. So let's put this back to zero, and let me show you how to link these parameters. You want to start off first with a master, the one you want to adjust. I prefer to use two, but you can use one or three. And also keep in mind, everything we're doing here can be done with more or less frequencies. I just prefer to use three. So I'm going to use two as the master. So in doing that, we'll go to one, and we're going to make it a slave. Go down here to our threshold, and just click on that fader. Then we're going to go up here to the menu, and see where it says last touched, our first threshold. That's because it's the last touched parameter. Then we go down over here to parameter modulation, MIDI link. And if we choose that, it opens up this dialog where we can link our parameters. We'll choose the one right here, link for MIDI or effects parameter. Then we'll go here and choose what parameter we want to link. Again, right now, we're linking the threshold on frequency band one. So we're going to link it up to a threshold on frequency band two. And that's pretty much it. Now we can close this. We can readjust band two, the threshold, and see they move together. We could also do it right here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you link them, you can't readjust this one because it bounces right back to be linked to the master. But if you want them linked and you want to adjust them with one move, this is a great way of doing it. And let's do the same thing with frequency band three. Let's put this back to zero, go to three. We'll choose the threshold fader right here. So it's the last selected one. Go to the menu and choose parameter modulation or MIDI link. And we'll do the same thing here. Link them, choose the parameter. I'm going to choose our master again, which is threshold two. And again, now they're linked. So I can move two and one and three move together. So when you're playing your song, we could adjust the threshold of all the bands at the same time like this. It's very helpful. And we could do the same thing with the other parameters. Let's do it with ratio. Let's go to frequency one, choose the ratio, and do the same thing with it. 
we can link it to our second frequency's ratio and do the same thing with frequency three. Choose the ratio, link it to frequency two and the ratio. Now, if you notice, it's jumping to 26 to one. So we need to readjust is our baseline. For this parameter, just move it to the left and now it matches for two, but one is still off to 26. So let's fix that. Click this again and go over here and readjust our baseline. So now they want up again. If we adjust it on two, and notice what happens over here. See that little arc, the little curve? That represents our ratio. So as we bring it up, we see it on all three. And we can make that same adjustment up here. If you hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, we can just grab it and adjust that ratio right here. And again, it's doing all three at the same time, higher or lower. So grab it for our threshold, hold on the modifier to adjust our ratio. And let's do the same thing with our gain. Again, we'll start with frequency one, choose the gain, parameter modulation, link the parameter, go to frequency two and choose the gain and see the gain lines up to zero. So we don't have to readjust our baseline. And we'll do the same thing for frequency three. Choose the gain, parameter modulation, and link it to a gain on frequency two. So now, if we go to frequency two, it's just the gain on all of them. And see if we can see it right here with the blue line. In fact, we can use a modifier to do it up here as well. Just hold down shift and grab two. Now the gain for each frequency, which are now linked, is gonna be adjusted. Bring it down or up. So now we can adjust the threshold just by grabbing it, the ratio by holding on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and the gain by holding on Shift. And now they're all linked, even though they're still gonna compress separately. So it looks like this, our threshold, our ratio, and our gain. It's pretty helpful. And we could do the same thing for our attack and our release if we want those parameters to match up as well. Now you're probably thinking, this is a lot of work to do each time. But we don't have to do that. We can save this as an effects chain. We can't save it as a preset, because if we save the preset, just the parameters where they're set are saved. It's not gonna save the linking. So if we wanna save the linking from each parameter, we need to save it as an effects chain. So we can do that by closing this, opening it back up, and right-clicking it over here. Go to Effects Chains, Save Selected Effects as Chain. We don't wanna save all effects, in case we have other effects on this track that we don't want to save in our chain. So we're just going to choose this one because it's selected. Then we can just give it a name. I'm going to name it Rex Comp Linked. Then we save it. Now if we remove this, if we want to add it back in at any point, we can just right click on the effects button, go to our effects chain and choose it right down here. Rex Comp Linked. It opens up with that same preset, but now it's all linked. So I can go to frequency two, just the threshold, the ratio, and the makeup gain. And if I had set up my attack and release, those will be saved as well. So only have to do this once, but it makes this plugin so much more useful. As we can compress each frequency separately, but still link up the parameters to match their settings, which I find more useful, especially on the master bus. So that's pretty much it. 
That's linking the Reex compressor, multiband compressors, parameters in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!